I am Landon Reese. Welcome back to the first and probably only episode of I Have No Idea What I'm Doing, The Cooking Show. On tonight's episode, we'll be making drum roll, please. Calzones! Now, let's go and get those ingredients. First things first, we'll need our 18 ounces of pizza dough, which we have in this convenient package. 5 ounces of baby spinach, 3 ounces of fontina, 2 containers of whole milk ricotta, and 14.1 ounces of cherry tomatoes. We don't want to hurt the floor now, do we? One of the first things we need when we're cooking is an apron. Another thing we'll need for later, of course, is your signature oven mitt that every good cook should have, especially when they couldn't find another oven mitt to match it. And of course, since we're making an Italian food, what's better for an Italian than a mustache? For this cooking, we will need a cooking sheet and a small skillet. Now one of the first things you want to make sure you do is oil your pan. So for the purpose of this we've cut it into three pieces instead of quarters because we have three people to feed. Here you see we've cut it into uh, roughly even pieces for later. Now we will oil the pan. We'll take a bit of salt onto our spinach. And then, a bit of pepper. Make sure evenly distribute it for the best flavor. Make sure to toss your spinach for about one to two minutes so you can get everything mixed in well with the oil and the salt and pepper. Now that you have all your spinach nice and wilted, we'll go ahead and put it where we need to. So, now that we have our spinach here, we're gonna need to cut it up and and now that we've magically transferred our cut up spinach into our bowl, we need to cut up our fontina for the calzone. And there you have it. Got it cut into cubes so that we can put it in later. Now we're going to put our ricotta into the mixture. All right, now we're going to put in some pepper and some salt, and we'll mix it on up. got our calzone all laid out we need to put our filling in and just fold it on over like so and press it down so it doesn't leak out in the oven all right so first poke three holes in there to let out some steam when it's in the oven and then take some take drill some olive oil on there and then go ahead and brush it across nice and easy. All right, so now that we have everything done with the calzones themselves, let's go ahead and put them in the oven. While they're in the oven, we need to let them sit in there for about 15 to 20 minutes to let them fully cook through. So to substitute it for uh, garlic in this equation, we will be using garlic salt. So here we have to put about mm, four cloves worth of garlic salt on here. And now we have Sprite Soda Tomato Juice. That has meatballs included. Alright, 
Now that we have our tomato sauce nice and ready, let's sit down and wait for our calzones to be done. What's that I hear? The sizzling goodness of a cow's home. I'm on the way. I told you they would come in handy. Ah, would you look at that? Our wonderful cow songs. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Some beautiful mastership of craftsmanship here. A beautiful calzone. And 14.1 ounces of cherry tomatoes. We don't want to hurt the floor. Look at that picture. Get out of it. All this other crap's in there. Oh, fine. God. 